All right, well, good Thursday afternoon, everyone. Coming up on 1216, still a beautiful day out there in Silver City, uh, Grant County. Uh, not too bad this morning. Numbers were in the upper 40s and quite the temperature swing, all because of the sunshine and that very dry air mass in place. You're already rebounding into those lower 80s. Relative humidity values coming in at about 15%, and we do have that south wind right now at about 8 miles per hour. Notice numbers across southern Colorado where you were deep into those 20s or Earlier today, already into the upper 60s in Pagosa Springs with Durango at 69. We have Cortez in the low 70s, 72 in Grants and Gallup, low 80s. Uh, from Silver City to Deming, you're close to 80 degrees at 79. And then we do have those low 70s in Ruidoso up in the higher elevations of the Sacramento Mountains with the mid 70s coming in across Santa Rosa. Las Vegas, you're at 70 degrees and a Raton coming in at about 71. So compare these numbers to just where we were at 24 hours ago and many locations are actually cooler. In fact, right here in Albuquerque, or I should say uh, Santa Fe, we're six degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday and right here in Albuquerque, we're two degrees cooler, but we are still going to manage to reach near record highs as we go into the afternoon hours as temperatures are well above average as we go into the afternoon. We have clear skies from west to east, quiet conditions out there this afternoon, courtesy of a ridge of high pressure that will continue to expand across the state, not only this afternoon, but as we go into our Friday and the weekend, so we do have another beautiful October afternoon on the way with mostly sunny skies, warmer than average daytime highs. In fact, I'm forecasting 85 degrees here in Albuquerque and the record to beat today, 83 set back in the year 1950. And remember yesterday we tied that record high of 85 here at the Sunport. As we go into our Friday, high pressure will keep us high and dry once again with light winds. Highs return back in the 80s, lots of sunshine. Although by the evening hours, I do think we will see a little bit more cloud cover trying to work its way in across southern and also central parts of the state. Across the southeast today, we're warming into those low 80s in Clovis, Portales, Carlsbad, you're at 82. Roswell, though, heating into the upper 80s once again with the low 90s back in the forecast by Friday and then turning windy and cooler with more rain as we go into uh, early next week. Lordsburg sunny and 87 today, so a gorgeous fall day for you. We have the upper 70s in Cortez and Durango. Chinley and Window Rock between 78 and 80 degrees this afternoon. Farmington will hit 80. Tonight will drop down to about 41. And we'll stay in those 70s and 80s right through the weekend. Taos 76 this afternoon, 71 in Red River. Santa Fe, you're at 81. We'll be in the upper 40s tomorrow morning with a high of 79 on Friday afternoon and back in those middle to upper 70s as we go into the weekend. Clayton just shy of that 80 degree mark, but Tucumcari will get back into those low 80s this afternoon with Roy at 77. And we have the mid 70s in Sandia Park and Cedar Crest, Edgewood at 77. And in the Metro today, highs back in the low 80s. Boleyn, you're at 82. Also the low 80s and Corrales, Bernalillo, Foothills, Placitas, you're in the upper 70s. Rio Rancho, another delightful day with low humidity, highs around 81. Lots of sunshine here in the Duke City. We'll drop down to about 49 degrees after that high of 85. We'll hang on to the mid 80s by Friday. Low 80s as we go through the weekend with sunny skies and dry conditions. Turning breezy early next week with temperatures lowering into the upper 60s. And we'll keep in those scattered showers and thunderstorms late Monday night and throughout the day on Tuesday. Again, highs only topping out near 67 degrees by the middle of next week.